Okay, we'll try a different angle and then we'll come back on the other side. See the orange in there, so we'll come around the other direction here. See it here. Coming around uh, once we pass it. So you can see the orange inside there. How solid is that crust down there in that little it's, crater? It's solid. I mean, the material, it's, the material itself, even in a fluid state, is very dense. So, I mean, it would support the weight of a person, but then the downside to all that, if you were to go in there, you have all the toxic gases as well as the extreme heat. all USGS uh, monitoring stuff out here? This is, and it's all flown out here. So they record everything from the types of gases that come out to the, you know, the, the seismic energy. Who's going to venture out? Very rare to see lava in there. Typically lava just flows into the ground. Now this is all smoke. If it were raining somewhere, you'd have steam. So not necessarily raining here, but raining somewhere. Rain will make its way underground, come in contact with warmer material somewhere, and then the steam will fill all the voids, it'll expand, fill the voids, and leak out. It can leak out miles away. So that's the unique thing with uh, the steam out here. It doesn't necessarily mean the ground's warm. It just means that it's raining somewhere. Lava flow is just being a fluid, a hot fluid will cool on the outside and then cool over the top, create like a, a, a shell. So then you have lava that, that sits underneath the solid shell. And let's say it comes to a claw, a block, and it starts to expand underneath. Lava will break up out of the top of that, that new shell, and flow a little bit. And they keep breaking upwards. And in time, you have this, essentially a lake, lava lake. So the top layer will be frozen, liquid underneath. And then at some point in time, lava may drain somewhere else, may find a hole in the ground and just leave. So now you have this big void. And then an earthquake or just the cooling process will cause it to collapse, resulting in these big craters or these big potholes. Now, off the ground now, we're just about a thousand feet and we're gonna go up to about 4,000. Yeah, we're just cruising over this, this Highway 11. Kind of the Eastern Highway on the Big Island.
This is the youngest, this is the baby. Geologically, they're the, they say that the oldest parts of the island are over a million years old. They say that Kilauea emerged from the ocean about 500,000 years ago and built up. Most, most of the land that we see is less than 60,000 years old back. 